Hi everybody, this is Lori from Get Crafty with Lori, and today I'm going to be playing with the Butterfly Slimline Embossing Folder and stencils from Close to My Heart. I'm going to slide it out of the package. I slid up the side here because I had a hard time getting it out from the top and I knew I wouldn't be able to get it back in. So let's take a look at what we get. We get this beautiful embossing folder with these butterflies. We have a stencil that has the solid butterflies. And then we have this one that has all the pieces of the butterfly. And what I want to do is to make these cards that they have in the catalog here on page 57 of the new April and June Close to My Heart catalog. So what they have here is they have a piece of Seabrook cardstock and they've used some inks in the color of Seabrook. They have Rosemary, Mulberry, Wisteria, and Mink. And if you'll notice, there's a white border around the edge here. So what they did is that after they ran it through the embossing folder, they took some sandpaper and sanded the edges. I'm using a piece of 220 fine grit sandpaper. So let's get started. I have the um, slimline card, and a slimline card is the dimensions are eight and a half by three and a half. And I am going to um, cut me a piece of Seabrook paper in um, eight and a fourth by three and a fourth. That way I'll have a white border around the edges. Okay, I got out my embossing machine and I'm going to put in this piece of Seabrook paper that I cut it eight and a fourth by three and a fourth. And I'm gonna use the darker side. There's a light side on the back and a darker side on the front. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put it inside of the embossing folder like that. And then I am going to run it through my machine. So my machine says that you have a platform the embossing folder and the cutting plate. So I am going to do it just like the instructions say. I'm going to put it through. Doesn't feel like it has quite enough pressure, but let's check and see. Let's see if it came out. It's pretty light. See that? You can't really see it, especially with this little butterfly down here on the bottom. So when that happens, you need to put in an extra shim. And a shim could be something as simple as a piece of cardstock. So I'm gonna try these two pieces of cardstock here. I'm gonna lay it down, and then I'm gonna put it down again. And now let's see what happens when I run it through. It feels a little bit firmer. There we go. I, it feels like it's dragging through as opposed to going through so easily like it did the first time. So let's see how that turned out. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. So all it took was some extra shims and my shims were just two pieces of cardstock. That simple. Okay, let me set this aside. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my sandpaper out. 
Okay, let's go ahead. And let's work on this big butterfly on the bottom down here. Let's see if we can get that white line to appear. Oh, I already see it. Look at that. It's already popping through. Can you, can you see that? Look at that, how pretty that is. Okay, I'm going to go around it. Just like this, just gently, a little bit of pressure, not too much, just a little bit, maybe even go in circles like I'm doing, kind of, that's, isn't that beautiful? So what's nice is the Close to My Heart cardstock is white core cardstock, so that's why we're seeing this white come through. That is one of the exclusive features to our cardstock. Not all cardstocks have that feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these butterflies. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Let's see. This is actually pretty fun. I think you're gonna like this. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? The way that white is popping through. This one a little bit more. That is so pretty. So I'm just going to go through and do this on all the butterflies. Okay, all the butterflies are sanded. And now I am going to take my stencil here and let's lay this down so that it's right on the butterflies and lined up. That looks good. So now I'm gonna take some tape and tape it down so that way it doesn't move. You don't want your stencil to move when you are sponging over it. You don't want the ink to go underneath the stencil part. So you can use washi tape or whatever tape you have to put that down. So that looks good. It doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere. So I'm going to use this blending tool here. It's green and that's okay because when you're using dye inks, you can use um, the same colors, the same color um, of greens, the same family. Although this rosemary looks more like a gray to me. Let me see if I have a gray brush. Yeah. Okay, I do. I have a gray brush and that'll work. As long as they're dye based, you're okay. It's just when you're, you're using the oxides that you cannot mix up your brushes because they're different formulas and you will end up ruining your ink if you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some ink on here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it on my stencil like that. You can apply as much as you want or as little as you want. Let's just see. Oh, there we go. If I just kind of build on it, it gets a little bit darker. Okay, that's pretty. I'm liking that. It's kind of nice if you can, um, Leave some areas lighter and some darker. Gives a, a little bit of dimension on it. Let's go ahead and put that down like that. Looks like I got some kind of sparkles on here. Okay, probably do. My granddaughter likes to use my craft room and she loves glitter. <laughs> so I am finding glitter in everything. Okay. Well, that looks pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and color this one a little bit different. Let's go ahead with the mulberry ink on this one. Oh, that looks pretty. Ooh, I like the mulberry ink on this color. It's really pretty. Nice. 
very pretty. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do next is I wanna get a little bit of color on these other butterflies, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this stencil. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Just like it is. Let's line this up. And make sure you got the right side. One side won't fit and the other one will. Okay, so now that looks like it's lined up. So I'm just going to reuse the tape. Okay. So I've got the little butterflies exposed now. So I can go ahead and put a little bit of the mulberry on these little butterflies here. Okay. I think they left a couple of them alone just the way they were like that. But one other thing they did is they went ahead and stenciled some little butterflies on the card. You just lay it over here like that, but make sure it's tacked down. Then I can go ahead and take my rosemary ink that now has sparkles on it. And go ahead and stencil a little butterfly. See how pretty that looks? Just add the extra little one. So I will put a few more little butterflies on here. Maybe just three. One there. And then let's see. Maybe do one off the page here. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Well, one other thing they did is they took this white gloss spray and they added some little white spots on their card, if you can see that there. So let's see. I'm going to shake this up. Give it a good shake. I don't want to spray it directly on my card, and I have lost my all-purpose mat, so I'm going to have to use my Versa mat, and then I will wipe it off. Let's get this wet. See if I can get some dots. Here we go. I'm just using a round brush here, and that's adding the white dots on my paper. Okay, so I went ahead and wiped up my mat. Didn't come up as clean as I would have liked it to, but that doesn't bother me because I love my mats and they still work great. They're just well loved. So next, I'm going to take some stickles, give them a little shake here. And you just wanna give this like a, a little squeeze. Let me try it on a scratch piece of paper first here. sure it comes out good. There we go, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some little dots on these butterflies. And this stuff takes a while to dry, so uh, be careful with it that you don't touch it because it will smear. But that sure looks pretty, doesn't it? And what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to let this dry before you put it on your card base. Otherwise, you're gonna end up smearing this. The other way to do it would be to um, put this on the card base, then put the stickles on and let it set aside to dry. Okay, that's looking very pretty. Okay, I think I am done here, and 
Doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough time to do the second card today, but um, stay tuned for tomorrow and we will work on this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It really helps me out. I will put the products that I used in the description section of my video. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.